Hello everyone, so in this video we are doing a unboxing and a, a review of the um, Costco branded Kirkland Outdoor Trail Socks. So this trail socks uh, comes in a pack of six and uh, what's special about this is it's actually made with mostly merino wool and uh, the merino wool actually helps uh, wick moisture out of your body and outside of the uh, of your feet for like so the merino wool actually had a great benefit of moisture wicking so it actually wicks it actually removes the moisture from your foot um, at a amazingly fast speed so compared to any other synthetic socks that you can buy or cotton socks and the socks made with merino wool is gonna excel at removing moisture to keep your feet dry okay so um, this is not my first pair this is actually my second pair now um, i actually bought my first pair um, the first pack which had six packs uh, six pairs of the socks i've used it for a while and now i want to come back and tell you guys how great those socks are and how great of a value that you can get from Costco by buying a six pack uh, directly in the Costco compared to some other um, uh, sports stores that you go and shop around. So this comes in a pack of six and it retails for about $18.50. So with tax, I think it's somewhere around $20. So you're getting $20 for six pairs of genuine merino wool socks. And uh, just gonna lay it out for you guys. Those socks are, they are trail socks. So most definitely, obviously, as you can see, they are very heavy duty and they are very thick. Um, I'm a person that loves like very thick socks because I walk a lot and uh, um, Pretty much if I wear any socks that's kind of thin and uh, my foot gets pretty fatigued and pretty, pretty tiring very quickly. With thick socks, it provides actually a much better cushion uh, for me during the long days where I have to walk around for my work. And um, also when I'm on the trail hiking, uh, a thick sock definitely helps with reducing the vibration coming down from hard rocks and hard packed dirt. Uh, when you're wearing a hiking boots. So the construction of the socks um, are actually pretty good. This is the exterior of the socks. Um, they actually reinforced the area where you're gonna have the most impact. Uh, namely, of course, the bottom area. Um, and I think somewhere around here, they reinforce it. Your toe area is most definitely reinforced. Um, and if you look inside of the socks, it's this kind of uh, very interesting knitted design on the inside all over. So it's, uh, this knitted design actually helps to keep space in between your foot and the socks. So the air would be able to move around, um, you know, in between the exterior of the socks and your foot. So um, when you wear those, you, you're still gonna sweat quite a lot and your moisture goes out on your foot and it travels through those channels in between those knitted area. It goes outside um, to the exterior of the socks. And with the merino wool, if you just Google around, the benefits of merino wool is that, again, moisture wicking capability. I've actually worn those socks and I directly compared it with my socks, synthetic uh, blend socks as well as my cotton socks. These socks are amazingly fast at removing moisture. So um, at the end of the day, when I take my uh, shoes off, my foot is always you know, sweaty. So I take my shoes off. With those socks still on, um, the, the sweat from my foot is able to just dissipate like at an amazingly fast rate. Probably if I take my shoes off like within five to 10 minutes, the sweat are gone and my foot is like really dry. And then I touch the socks, the socks itself is also dry. So most definitely it removed all the moisture out of my foot amazingly fast. So with regular synthetic socks and the cotton socks that I have uh, before I got into those merino wool socks, um, 
regardless, if I take my shoes off at the end of the day, uh, my foot is actually more wet than wearing those merino wool socks and the moisture really doesn't get dissipated fast enough. So basically I like I have to take my socks off at the end of the day uh, with the regular socks compared to the merino wool because the moisture is just gonna stick there. It's gonna make my socks wet and it, it makes my foot feel super uncomfortable. So that's why I think if you have the chance, if you have Costco membership, most definitely give those socks a try, especially if you have a sweaty foot like me. My foot always sweats. So those socks really, really helps in removing moisture. And uh, um, another thing I want to tell you guys is that, so the, maybe it's the only downside with those merino wool socks is that they are also very, very bulky. So again, for me, I love big bulky cushioning socks. And so when I buy my shoes, I usually buy a size, maybe half a size larger so I can accommodate those big, bulky, heavy socks. If you, if all your socks before are actually standards, um, like thin, thin, like dressing socks, um, you, when you wear those, you might have trouble fitting your, fitting your uh, feet in your shoes because uh, those socks are just much, much more bulky. So that's one thing, one advice I have for you. If you get into those socks, you most definitely want to reconsider the shoe size when you go and shop around for, um, for a new pair of shoes. Uh, they might have thinner merino wool socks available on the market. However, it's not available in Costco. So I, I can't really tell you guys, you know, what the other options are, but those socks in retail, if you buy those socks, at any other sports retail stores or if you buy those merino wool socks online you're probably looking at probably the same price like $15 for even one pair of those socks or if you get a good deal maybe like uh, $10 a pair for those merino wool socks but it's unbeatable price at Costco it's only $20 you get freaking six pairs okay this is amazing so this is my second package that I bought one last thing uh, for you guys out looking for the socks in Costco is that this socks is actually sized. So make sure you get the correct size for your foot. I usually wear a size 9.5. However, when I bought the medium size of the uh, Merino wool socks, it actually does not fit me. It, it's actually slightly smaller than my foot would like. So if you are size 9.5, definitely go one size larger and get the size 10. Um, because it's gonna fit your foot better. So uh, that's just a word of caution. But the, the good thing is if you buy anything from Costco, you can always go back and return it and exchange for a different size if you don't like it. But again, amazing value for merino wool socks at Costco. At the very end, uh, I'm just gonna show you guys the fiber content of this sock. So it's made with 72% of the merino wool 27% of the nylon and 1% of the spandex. So this is not like 100% pure merino wool, but during my use, I can tell you guys, it just wicks moisture like magic. Okay, so there you have it. Questions, comments, feel free to ask me in the comment section down below. Otherwise, uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you found it helpful. If you did, please do hit the like button and subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you in my next video. Take care.